Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're all doing very well. Today I have the most exciting video, <laughs> in my opinion. Um, today I am sharing our nursery tour. We have been working on our baby's nursery for the past month and I say we, um, my husband and I, Jack, have been working on this nursery for a good while, um, decorating it, getting things together, picking things out. It has taken a while and I'm so, so excited to share the process and the final product. Um, yeah, it's taken, <laughs> it's taken a while to get here and I'm just so happy it's all done. I hope you enjoy this video. So I'll start off by sharing the before, the whole transformation process and then I'll come back and show you the final product. I love it. I'm obsessed with this room. What the office is looking like right now obviously like i had my desk there and don't get me wrong i love this color i think it's a really nice color it's called cancun and it's um the b and q own paint range that's the color it's a lovely color warm neutral tone but i just wasn't feeling it when it came to nursery i'd say jack has paneled around two thirds of the wall and he's done such a good job it's his first time ever paneling um anything uh so yes yeah, it's, it's his first ever time and he's paneled it all and it looks great so now i'm gonna paint it all um and what we're gonna do is we're gonna leave all these walls white we're gonna leave the top bit white as well what if your sweetness could reach everyone there be no wars Birds will sing about your heart Maybe the trees will whisper the word Maybe the sun will spread your joy to the ones who lost their hope Okay, so I thought I'd give you guys a little bit of an update. So I have just painted all of the walls white. I've done the first coat and um, I gave it about an, an hour and a half to dry. Um, I'm gonna do the second coat of the top bit here. Um, I don't think I'm gonna do the second coat of the um, paneled area because obviously that's gonna be an actual color. And then I went over the whole room, just like touched up a few bits of the room like around here i used to keep like a little paper bin and it just you know the wall got a little bit mucky so i just like touched up a few bits around here so the room is looking very bright very white so before it gets dark i thought i would quickly show you guys the color which we have gone for and it's called limerick or limerick from good home it's like the uh being cute own range um i absolutely love this range they do such good colors and they're reasonably priced as well so yeah it's like a sage green color in real life it's definitely more vibrant i feel like this color this let me just see if i can darken mm, no just brighten it back up <laughs> Um, in real life it's definitely a lot darker it's a slightly deeper shade but as always you can't really capture the true color on camera but yeah that's what it's called limerick or limerick these are the walls i've done the third coat of the um of the paint it's just been done so it does look a little bit patchy just because it's freshly been done and then as it dries it will look better I only did one coat on the panelled walls just because um, it's just like it's acting as the white paint is acting as a primer and um, because we're going to go over with this shade. So yeah, we're going to be painting it all evening. It's about 8pm now. We're probably going to be up until like midnight painting because this panel is going to need a good couple of coats. 
Hi everyone, so I've not spoke to you all for a day, I think. So this is the colour of the panelling. We just need to paint that top coating there. Um, but yeah, this is the colour that we've gone for. It's like a sage green colour. It's really beautiful. It's a little bit more vibrant in real life, to be honest. We need to do a second coat of the... Uh, panelling and then on top we've actually decided not to go for the white after painting it all white we're now gonna do the paint this we're now gonna paint all of the room in this color here so this is called alberta it's from um good home it's the same brand as the panel color um we're gonna paint the whole of the room this kind of like soft beige color it's like an off-white soft beige color and um, we also had another sample here called was it north pole or something like that i don't know it was a, a dulux shade it was too light just you can't even tell um i wanted to add some warmth back in the room just because Oh, it's called, yeah, it's called White Cotton from Dulux. We've gone for the um, more beige colour that's a little bit more prominent um, because the other colour, I mean, you can barely even see it. So then we're going to paint the whole room in that shade. You can see as well, I did a little sample there again of that same, of those two same colours. And yeah, I just prefer that warm shade just because the white is just looking a little bit stark and I don't love it and just like that the room is all nice and clean um yeah everything everything is just perfect and we're gonna start moving some of the bits in um like i said earlier the cot will be going here so when that arrives we'll put that there we have a rug going on the floor and then over here and then over here we have a nursing chair um, I've tried to clean this chest of drawer from Ikea. Um, some of the marks just won't come off, so um, it's not the end of the world anyway. But yeah, so we've got that. But yeah, the whole room is looking very clean, very tidy. <laughs> process let me show you guys the final nursery guys around this room and of course i will have everything linked in the description box so make sure to check the description for all of the products shown i will go through everything as well and tell you guys as much as possible within this video so i really wasn't sure about what style color scheme or anything actually when it came to this room i spent so much time on pinterest looking at different nurseries gathering ideas looking at different color schemes and just thinking it took me a while to come up with 
what to do with this room because I wanted a room that made me feel calm and felt soothing as well but I wanted just to inject a little bit of colour I didn't want the room to be too beige but I still wanted it to be very calming because I love neutral shades and at the end of the day I think a nursery should feel calming we decided to panel the back wall we've never done any kind of paneling before in our house um but i just felt like paneling felt right jack paneled this wall so we've done kind of like um uh, two-thirds paneling um we were originally we were originally going to panel right to the top but um we changed our minds and decided to just panel three two qu two thirds of the wall and i absolutely love the way that it looks um i feel like paneling just adds a little bit of dimension and depth into the room we also decided to go for this beautiful sage green shade and the color is called limerick or limerick it's a tad more vibrant in real life so i love the way that the wall looks i love how it's come out and then just on the floor here we have this little basket so it's like a i think it's a teddy a bear um basket from h&m i will link it in the description box as i already said and let's just talk about the cot i've had my eye on this cot for such a long time um well before i create some content with mamas and papas on instagram um i had my eye on this cot for ages um, so this is the Coxley cot from Mamas and Papas. I have created some content with Mamas and Papas on uh, my Instagram, um, but this video isn't with them. This is just a video that I wanted to share with you all, just because if you watch my vlogs and you'll kind of know that I've been very slowly trying to build this nursery and, you know, get everything together. And this was the final thing to come. So this came a couple of days ago and Jack built it up. I love the colour of the wood. It's like a light wash wood colour. Um, I also love the fact that you can add blankets on one side and then on the other side uh, it has um, two poles. So one at the bottom and one at the top where you can add books. I'll show you that in a minute. But yeah, I love, love this cot. It's actually a cot bed. So baby will be able to use this right up until the toddler and maybe even beyond i don't know the age range exactly i wanted something that could grow with us grow with our baby so the coxley bed was an absolute must above the cot we have this mobile so i actually picked this up from amazon it took me a while to find the right mobile i wanted something neutral and um, there's a lot out there and there's a lot of colorful ones um but a neutral one is definitely what i wanted this one is actually from um amazon so i will link it below the mobile and the stand come separately so you will have to buy them separately um but yeah i just love the way the mobile looks mattress is also from mamas and papas and with this mattress i think you can actually flip it so it has like a newborn size and a like toddler size i believe and then over here we just have little teddy bear over there with a 3d scan of our little baby um yeah i come into this room and just stare at baby scan <laughs> honestly i spend i spend quite a lot of time just like every time i wake up and i come down to this room i just love looking at baby <laughs> i can't believe this baby's real and this is what it looks like just so excited about me and baby but anyway <laughs> um we have this cushion here from Dunnell. Um, I love I love the little buttons at the top. Uh, and then we have the teddy bear, which is also from Mamas and Papas. And I picked this up about a week ago. It is honestly the softest teddy ever. <laughs> Moving on to over here, um, we have this little corner of the nursery. Now, actually, before I move on, I mentioned that the paint that we use is called Limerick. I'm not sure whether you're gonna be able to tell I mean, against the white radiator, you can tell that the wall isn't actually white. We've painted it this off-white kind of um, warm colour called Alberta. Again, it's a B&Q own brand paint. B&Q own brand paints are incredible. Um, we really, we really enjoyed using both paint colours. Over here, we have this hook, and the hook is from 
Amazon. Uh, recently picked that, I recently picked that up and I added this little rainbow thing. I don't know what to call it. Um, again from Amazon because I knew that the colour of the rainbow would work really, really well with the colour scheme of the room. And then we decided to hang this little basket. The basket is from Amazon. We actually got two of them, but we only needed one. Um, and I put these little toys, these little soft toys here from H&M inside. I love these little soft toys from H&M. They're just so cute. We've got a giraffe and a hedgehog. And then over here, we have our olive tree. I knew I wanted to add some sort of olive tree into this room, some sort of faux plant into this room. And I think that just looks really lovely in that corner. And then we have our little friend just at the bottom, the little llama. It's so cute. Again, from H&M. And then when you move across, we have this little corner of the room so starting at the top we have these shelves so the shelves are from ikea they're actually spice racks now i'm probably not the first one to tell you about this but this is quite a good hack um the if you buy these kind of shelves normally they cost i wouldn't say they're a ridiculous price but these spice racks from ikea cost £4.50 each i've seen a lot of people using them in nurseries so this is what we decided to do so we've uh, flipped one and hung some of baby's clothes on there and then the other was just added some books I want to add another little toy there but I just haven't found the right one just yet uh, and then we have these little books at the top we have the my daddy book and I love you book from and that was from Aldi actually and then at the back we have a Peter Rabbit book as well so yeah I just love I love those little books makes me so happy we've got a little teddy there and then we have these three outfits. First one is m and Old, but I'll link a very similar one that they've just released. Second one is from Primark. And the last one is John Lewis. I got it in a sale, so I can't link it, but it's so cute. Down here, we have the Mamas and Papas Bowden nursing chair. So I think the texture is called Boucle, but of course I will link it in the description box and this is just what it looks like it's so soft it's so comfortable um i knew that i wanted to have a nursing chair in this room and this one just fits perfectly in this corner it is so lovely and i often just sit on here looking at this room and just getting excited for baby and then we also have this little cushion from Dunelm again. And it's in this sage green colour with little bows on it. And then when you move around here, this is a final part of the room. And let's start off with the prints. So these two prints are from a brand called Galerix. Again, they will be linked in the description box. Um, it took me ages to find the perfect prints for this room. I wanted something that was neutral, obviously, but uh, and had a little bit of green in there, which both of these prints have. Um, yeah, they're just really lovely prints, and they work perfectly in this room. And then we have this um, lamp from Nkuku. We've had this a while. So this room previously was my office, and now... Um, I've just kept a few bits in here from my office because it just works in the nursery as well. And then we have the Ikea, I can't, remember, I can't remember what this one is called, but again, this used to be my chest of drawers and now it's half baby and half mine. I'll show you all what's in there in a second. Just above the chest of drawer, we have this changing mat, well, changing basket. Um, I really, I was quite stuck when it came to changing baskets. I've talked about this uh, in my nursery haul video. I have so many nesting and baby related content. So if you are having a baby and you just want to watch some content like that, then definitely um, just go and check out my channel. I have loads of content, but um, I actually found this on a Facebook marketplace and I managed to get a good deal on it. And then we have this insert, which is completely waterproof and I wanted um a changing mat which was waterproof just to make it easy to wipe and clean and just keep clean if you know what i mean and then 
when you come over here we have these little storage baskets i don't really know what to call them storage containers <laughs> and they're made out of this cloth material so these are actually from h&m and they're in this kind of light green sage green kind of color again i think the camera is just washing them out a little bit um but i knew that i wanted some sort of storage container something like that um, on top of the dresser just to make it easy easy to change baby obviously placing baby in here and then just reaching for these products um on the side so i've just got nappies in here and then some wipes as well and then in here i've just added a few muslin cloths i'm probably going to add more products up here but um i wanted to keep it aesthetically pleasing for this video and then this is baby's size so i'll quickly show you what's in here first drawer we have the nappy and wipes drawer i actually keep these wipes upside down but for the sake of this video i flipped them because i thought they'd kill up i thought they looked better when they're flipped and you can actually see them properly so yeah i've got all these newborn wipes in here and then in this drawer here i have baby products and postpartum products as well so i've got quite a few in here and then this drawer i just love it's overflowing just a little bit and um, it took me you won't believe it but it took me ages to organize this drawer this drawer contains all of baby's clothes and sleep suits and body suits um we haven't got loads of outfits we've got a few outfits between the wardrobe this wardrobe here um but to be honest we know that baby is going to mainly be wearing sleep suits so that's what i've decided to get baby um so i've categorized it in uh, ages newborn zero to one month zero to three months three to six and then back here we have some leggings and some hats and then we have this miscellaneous drawer which is full of rubbish so i've got like waterproof mattress protectors bed sheets postpartum postpartum products bibs muslin cloths healthcare products um all sorts extra toys towels i've got a little teddy towel down there all sorts down here doesn't look so nice in there and when you come around here again another cupboard which isn't aesthetically pleasing um but we have some of my stuff at the bottom and some of some and some of my stuff at the top but this half of the wardrobe has all of baby's outfits so just outfits which um i don't want to forget to put baby in um my mother-in-law got baby this my friend got baby this so i definitely want baby to wear those items as soon as possible and then just extra outfits here cardigans i've got a little yellow one there and then a sage green one um prom suits and all sorts i've got some really cute outfits i've got some really cute outfits just back here and then we have baby's carrier just hung at the back we've organized well i've organized all of baby's stuff with these um wood organizers so helpful at first i thought they were going to be pointless but they are really really helpful just to keep things separate so yeah these are all the clothes that we've bought baby um including the stuff that's in the drawer i feel like we have a reasonable amount of stuff we've not gone overboard um and of course we can always buy more stuff when baby arrives and then at the bottom i have been i have been stockpiling on nappies over the last month or so every time i do the feed shop or some sort of shop or i find a good deal i buy a pack of nappies i know loads of people recommend the mamiya um nappies from aldi so i've been buying them every time i'm by an aldi and then we have nappy caddies so i've got two of them um one just has some flip-flops for my post for my um hospital bag they're new they're brand new from primark that's why i put them in there um but yeah we have all sorts of random stuff we have um a tommy tp nappy bin in there all sorts of products in here as well all baby related so yeah 
this is baby's nursery i hope you enjoyed watching this video i hope you enjoyed seeing how we transformed this room from my office to baby's room and uh, i know i've said this a million times but please check the description box if there's anything and if there's anything that i have forgotten please very kindly um leave me a comment and i will get back to you thank you for watching bye